How's it mosey feeling? Welcome to Out of the Park Baseball 24. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, I do uh, year-round Out of the Park Baseball content. So if that interests you, make sure you hit subscribe and ring the belly things so you don't upload new content. But today we're going to be uh, get basically a bit of a tutorial on getting started. I feel like a lot of oh, just management games particularly, it can be quite overwhelming when you first sort of load her up. Um, but we're going to sort of work you through and, and it is actually, it, it breaks down fairly well so you can learn the game. Now, what you're going to want to do is, uh, for the most part, it's worth having a look at the at the quick game options. Uh, but going to custom new game, um, you you probably well if you want to not be able to do, uh, just give it a read and decide if you want to do that or not. For, I just will click no thanks. It's worth having a look at the fictional and historical league options. But most people are going to want to get started in the real world. Uh, you can load up as many or few as the leagues as you want. Um, it, it just it's up to you if you want them running in the background or not. But yeah, again, most people will just want to be playing uh, the Major League Baseball. So uh, next step is to uh, load that up. You've got a few options here. Uh, I would recommend maybe not adding the, the, the fictional pictures to start with because it does take quite a while to generate the game doing that. You can come back and do it afterwards, uh, I believe. Now, if you, if, you, uh, if you don't want the league to sort of uh, evolve over time, so that would, I believe, ex well, you'll say here, uh, rule changes, relocation of teams, and expansion of the league, uh, then make sure you untick that. I like it. To be honest, it sort of it, 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 it makes it feel a little bit more like you're uh, you're sort of playing in real life. Uh, there's a couple of other options here. Now again, everything is really customizable, so you can you can change it as you go. Uh, you're going to want to to name the game. Um, you can either play as a GM or a manager. Now I would suggest if you are brand new to the game. Just playing as a general manager, and that's what I do. It means that you can still watch the game, um, you know, as it plays out, but it, it takes some of the the sort of the play by play things away from you. Uh, and me being quite new to baseball, particularly when I started uh, playing out of the park a few years ago. Now, uh, I like just you know taking the, the the game sort of management out of my hands, hiring someone to do that for me. Then if I, if a team's losing, instead of blaming myself, I can blame them, fire them, get a new coach in, and uh, and start again. So. Okay, our commissioner mode is uh, you can sort of force through trades. It's one of those things. If you like to play that way, it's absolutely fine. Do it. If you don't, then uh, that's absolutely fine. And cannot be fired. It depends. I mean, it is, again, it's up to you. To be honest, I use this quite a bit in, uh, you know, if I'm doing a long-term save. Not necessarily the saves that I do on YouTube where, you know, I need the Jeopardy because that's what people watch for. Um... But yeah, if I'm just sort of playing my own sort of private thing, uh, I'll often tick cannot be fired. So that it's my team. I can do what I want. You know, I can go through a rebuilding that the, set the owner doesn't want and uh, and still get away with it, not be fired. It, 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 it takes away the jeopardy, but it, it, it can make the game a little bit more fun for you as well. Now, of course, don't you have to worry if you do get fired from a job. It doesn't mean that that's it. You can then get a job somewhere else as well. So uh, it's not game over if you uh, if you don't win, uh, if you don't, so if you do get fired or sacked. Now, Obviously, you can choose the team you want. I am a Mets fan, so I will choose the Mets. And this is the screen that will load up for you. Now, you'll get your, uh, your messages here, so sort of welcoming you to the team. You'll get the top 100 prospects list. And then that's kind of all you get. Then you're sort of left on your, on your own to explore. Uh, now, a reminder or a, a, a heads up, you don't get spring training first season. Uh, you just kind of have to deal with that is what it is. Now, if you want to sort of cust start customizing the game, and this is where I say, you know, it... it Although it's overwhelming, you can uh, you can sort of make it a little bit easier for yourself. So if you go to game and game settings, it'll bring up this. Uh, now, what you want, things you want to look for here is uh, it's worth just taking a little bit of time to, to to read around it and see what it is you want to do. Uh, you can you can uh, not enable owner goals. You can have uh, you can take off the impact. This is behind my head. Is that no? You might be able to just see it. Take off the impact of uh, coaching and uh, whether uh, coaches can be hired. You know, for, away from your team. You can turn all these sorts of things off so it makes it a little bit easier for you to get to get the hang of the game first of all before you sort of go maybe a little bit more into the, into the hardcore mode um, you can go here players and teams again you've got all the options that uh, that help make the game a little bit uh, a little bit perhaps easier for you to learn now this is where if you want to add uh, player pictures now or pick uh, pictures pictures and pictures is very same isn't it uh, so you can you can add them in here now and it just it just 
takes away from the setup time of the game. It's still obviously they have to do it, but it just takes away the, the setup time. You can uh, fix up the AI settings here as well. Uh, database, if you want to play around with that, is how you'll do it. And then league settings, uh, again, you can come in and you can play with all sorts of different things here as well uh, that might or may not uh, improve your enjoyment of the game. You can you can uh, rename teams. Uh, you know, you can, you can do anything. So... Yeah, it is, it is very, very highly customizable if you are new to the game. There is a lot here that you can do. And it's worth just going through because some of those things will make life a little bit easier for you. Uh, so yeah, that's all here if and when you want to uh, you want to have a look at it. You can rename awards as well. You can create a custom award. So there is a, there's a lot of different things that, uh, that you can do. Now, the other thing you want to look at, if you go to your manager here and manager options... And this is uh, where you can you can sort of choose to be in commissioner mode or whether you cannot be fired. So if you are maybe looking a little bit like you might get fired when you don't want to, or if you are going to have a rebuilding season that maybe is not wanted uh, by the by the owner, you can temporarily toggle that on and off. Same with commissioner mode. Uh, and then you have here what you can and can't do. So if you are just playing as a general manager, I would suggest you probably do want to be setting up the lineups and the depth charts and. Uh, you may or may not want to do setting up player strategies as well. Uh, and then this is where it gets a little bit hardcore, whether you want to do uh, minor league player strategies, the, the up and down of uh, minor league promotions and demotions. Now, as a general manager, you may want to do that. You may not want to either, and then you can assign it to, to other people to do any of these sorts of things. So it can you can sort of take off one part of the game while you learn another, and then once you feel comfortable with that, you can add things back on. And uh, eventually, you might want to do all this. To be honest, I still a lot of the minor league stuff. I just let I just let the AI do that for me because it is a it's a lot of fiddling around, moving plays up and down. If someone gets injured in the minors, and then you got to replace them and move play. It just gets a little bit too much for me. It takes a little bit of the sort of my enjoyment out of it because it's a little bit fiddly, but there are people out there, and you may be one of them that will absolutely love that fidd fidd fiddliness of them. <laughs> I think that's a word. And uh, yeah, so, you know, go ahead and do that. Fill your boots. Now, if you click the uh, the home screen over here, it'll take you through to uh, to the home screen of your team. You, here, you can see all the sort of the basic stats. Uh, you can meet the team, see who the uh, who the stars are, who the who the stars of the future are, uh, and where the, everybody sort of ranks in uh, in the terms of, of Major League Baseball. So this is sort of a, a, an overview, I guess, of uh, of your team. Uh, you can see the team chemistry here. Um, it's worth keeping an eye on. You want to have. Uh, you know, as many players this side of this thing, and maybe the least on the, on the far side here. But you know, a good player that's uh, selfish or unmotivated or disruptive or whatever, you might you might be willing to overlook. Uh, so that is that settings. It just takes you back into uh, into this sort of thing here, where you can fix up uh, the names of stadiums and whatnot. Uh, so organization. This is all your uh, minor league. You've got your well, you got your injured list and your, your secondary forty man roster, and then you've got all your uh, all your minor league teams that you can uh, go through to here. Now, if you want to have a look at another team, you can simply click on that. And you can bring up whatever whatever team it is you want to, you want to look at. Uh, you've got your roster here. If you want to change uh, views, you can go here. Uh, you can customize it. You can just go to batting pitching. You can sort of go through that and see exactly what it is that you like uh, like to see. You can filter things. You can have just uh, batters, just pitchers, just positions. It's uh, like I say, really customizable. You can then see again a little bit more detail of the injury list. Your minor league. Uh, now what you can do here is just customize because of uh, the Toronto Blue Jays thing that I'm doing. Um, but yeah, then you can see here all players and their potential. Search by potential. You can search by current ability as well. Uh, you can again, you can search by positions and all that kind of stuff. Your waivers list. Um, if you have anybody, obviously it'll come up here. And then if you need to move them around, you can do upcoming free agents again you just want to make sure it's always up here to all players so you don't miss anybody if you just have you it is often uh defaulted to just batters or pitchers so just make sure that's to all players you can see what's upcoming this year uh this is your international uh complex so all the players that are usually under around 19 i believe there's a couple of in their 20s here so i'm not quite sure why why they're there um but yeah so those are all those players and then your transactions logs is uh, it'll not just be uh trades but also moving players between different uh, teams in the farm system all your pitchers here and the pitching roles, uh, you, you can, again, play around with all this and uh, and come out with exactly how you want this to go. Now, if you were to have the manager in charge of this, then I'll show you what it would look like. So you can see here, I've just moved it. So the manager is in control of the pitching stuff, and I can't actually move anybody around. So that is, uh, that is why I like to be able to do that, because the general manager, that's basically all you're doing is setting up the lineup. 
And then same thing here for the hitting side of things. Uh, now you will have be able to set up a, a different lineup for uh, the against the right-handed pitcher and the left-handed pitcher. If at some point you uh, the designated hitter goes away, then you'll have another option here for right-handed uh, without the DH as well. So it'll just sort of you'll have four options. You've got your daily lineups there and your geographical uh, chart as well. Uh, of as to you know who plays what positions and you can see there you can set that up if that's your preferred uh, view I prefer to do it in this particular screen but again that's just my preference there's nothing wrong with that whichever way you decide to do it strategy now this is uh, this is where the game can get a little bit um, overwhelming it's here I might even do a different tutorial on uh, on strategy but uh, that's sort of the overall team strategy now you've got options here between the inning that you're in as well and uh, particular score uh, so, so different game scenarios at different times of the game so very very in-depth and then you can go into player strategy here as well you can drop and drag over or my preferred method is just to click on the player and go to strategy uh, it takes you to the same thing and then again you can you can change uh, you know the way you want uh, you want the players to be uh, to be coached or managed in game uh, so that is uh, yeah, different ways you can do that and you go over to your front office so this gives you an idea here of uh, the money that's available to you you can see the market size all that kind of stuff uh, most of this you'll be able to change in between seasons not necessarily at uh, at any point uh, the owner so this gives you your owner goals it'll give you the sort of a bit of a, of a history as to how the team has been going uh, and what the owner wants you to achieve and uh, then you can go to accounting if you want to have a deep dive into the books, which is uh, not really my idea of a good time, if I'm honest. <laughs> uh, the salaries, this is useful. You can see who's on what and when and, uh, you know, kind of plan for the future. There is some big money floating around. Uh, well, not just the Mets, I suppose, but just generally speaking, some of the salaries are enormous um but yeah so there you go you can see all that stuff that's how you do that play development uh again there'll probably be a separate tutorial on this but you can set your play development budget now be aware that if you change the play development budget what's going to happen is it's going to come out of uh usually free agent money i think is where it comes out of uh so it, it, you don't spend the money for free basically just be aware of that um but you can see there the uh, the other bits and pieces of budget that you have personnel this is your coaching staff uh so you can see that there as well uh and you can go here to staff roles and um yeah it's all there for you as well and if you want to uh set up here who teaches what you can never have anybody doing more than two things ideally well, no one's a particularly good uh, base running coach but anyway ideally you'll want uh, you'll want to have all of these things as high as possible or you can just set the ai to do it and uh, and there you go that'll be done for you as well now if you want to see uh, the coaching staff for not just the Mets or your major league team but the entire farm system uh, if you go up here or entire organization it brings it up and then you can go through and uh, you can you can change things. Now, I will do a different tutorial on coaching staff because it can be a huge advantage to make sure you have the best coaches possible all the way through the organization. It'll really help player development. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that in future episodes. Scouting. Now, scouting has changed in this version of the game. I Obviously, it's a brand new game. I've only ever... I haven't really played that much of it yet to, to fully assess exactly how the scouting works. Uh, but typically, you can see there, you, you scout where you want to scout. You can add to the budget. And, um, yeah, I mean, the changes will hopefully only make it better. But what will happen is in your inbox, you'll get uh, you'll get your scouting reports of players that have been found. And, uh, of course, you will have, if I go, I'll show you an example of, um, of a scouting report in just a second. Schedule is going to be, obviously, the games. Uh, you'll get the results will sort of populate once the game has been played. And info is just all bits and pieces. Um, really, really detailed. One thing I always am I'm addicted to checking is if you go to history here and you can you can check the history of almost anything. Uh, you know, team leaders, and it's what I it just I don't know why I love it so much, but as you go through, uh, your players will come in. Obviously, they will, but they'll come in here so you can have a, you know like the best batting average in the history of uh, of, a, of a club will be like a player that comes into the game in 2040 uh, and things like that so yeah that is uh, that is there and like I say I am absolutely addicted to looking at those stats constantly uh, and you can do it for you can see there almost anything it is it is really really cool now I was going to show you an example of a scouting report so if you go onto a player's uh, profile here, you can see scouting and uh, you get the scouting report here. Now it'll sort of show you change over time. Uh, obviously brand new game, it's, it's not going to give you too much uh, information on that front. 
But one thing to be aware of, if you, we go back to profile here, uh, you can see scouting accuracy is average. Now, what will happen, it's not so important for your own players, but particularly when you're scouting for a draft or something like that. If we go and have a quick look here, you can see here scouting accuracy. Uh, you are going to want the highest possible scouting accuracy that you can. Because if uh, if you don't have, if you click here and go to OSA ratings, you can see they're usually always going to be average. Uh, but there is, a, there is a difference between what your head scout r sort of says and what the OSA ratings are. So that the higher that you get uh, that scouting accuracy, the, the more you can believe it kind of thing. So that's that's a big part of, uh, you know, of, of uh, drafting players and signing free agents and things like that. Try and make sure that the, the higher the scouting accuracy is, basically, uh, the more faith you can have that it's correct. So I don't want to draw this out for too long, uh, but if you do have going to go up here, you can see things uh, like the rookie draft and uh, the, the the draft pool, uh, the prospect pipeline. This is always a neat thing to look at, so you get an idea of roughly uh, where your prospects are, but also the estimated time of arrival in Major League Baseball. So if you're looking to, to plan for the future, um, you can get an idea of, uh, you know, so we need a, a new, uh, what's this guy, a new third baseman from the well, he's actually this is overall but you know you need a new third baseman 2026 this guy should be around so you can plan for the other guy's contract maybe your current guy or, or, or a stopgap to uh, to expire me a free agent 2025 because this guy should be ready to go at that point and again you can go up here you can you can do all teams you can do just your team any one team any position it's Again, one of these things that's really, really customizable. Uh, Wait for Wire is always worth checking. There's no one there right now because the game has just started, but uh, you'll get players on on waivers and you can just claim them. They become yours. So, uh, yeah, that is uh, always something of use as well to check. So that is it. And there'll be plenty of more tutorials. If you've enjoyed this, make sure you hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. As I say, plenty of other tutorials. Or you can come and see me in action as we try and win uh, whatever we can with the Toronto Blue Jays, but using only Canadian players. Take care.